so lucky today on NBC 24. We have Imagination Station on hand with us. We have scientist Dan Clemens with us this morning. Thanks for coming in. No problem. It's our pleasure. Uh, you know me. I always get a little nervous right before we get started. <laughs> what do you have in store for us? So I thought I would do some interesting experiments with some water and balloons and things. So I thought we'd just get started. Okay. Um, and then you can could. explain it as we go. Sure. Let's, so yes. I filled this balloon up with my breath. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I have a candle here. If you wouldn't mind, would you touch the balloon to the candle? Would I touch it to the yeah. candle? Oh, we'll see okay. what happens. See the flame there. Go ahead. Bring it right on top. Go ahead and lower it. Ah! There you okay. go. It popped, right? It did, yes, just okay, like I knew it, it would. Now, let me light the candle again. Now, I've got another balloon, okay. and I added something else besides my breath. I actually added some water. I see that. So if you will take the balloon and just lower it right on top, right? And you go ahead and just lower, lower it, down. it down. Yep, go ahead and lower it right down. And you can keep going. And you can actually bring it right up to the balloon, OK? And you've actually put out our flame now. No but that's kidding. OK. Here, I can do it again. OK. All right. And what happens is water is actually taking that heat and protecting the balloon, all right? Because it has such a high heat capacity, all right? It takes a lot of heat energy to change the temperature of the water. Okay. So it actually protects our balloon from popping there. I'm amazed, all right. Isn't that cool? That is and cool. if you look at the bottom, you can actually see. see that we left some soot behind, and it's actually cool to the touch, OK? It's it not even cool hot. To the touch. No, it's now, not. it's not a trick balloon or anything. I didn't try to trick you guys, so I've you got the lighter here. No, I would never do that, OK? <laughs> I can actually take it and pop it right there. All right, and it's not a trick balloon, but the water was protecting Protected. it. Protected, okay. Because of that high heat capacity of water. So all the, now. All the little scientists out there, take note. <laughs> now I can, we're actually gonna do the same thing with a cup. Now so is there a difference? So this is just a normal paper cup. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm gonna fill it with some water here. And you have, you have water almost up to the rim of the cup? Almost up to the rim. It's okay. about, um, you know, four fifths of the way up. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to blowtorch it. So we're going to put away the puny little lighter. All right, we're going to use our blowtorches, and we're actually going to blowtorch the side and see what happens. Okay, let's you do ready? it. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. We'll go ahead and we're actually torching the side of the cup. As you can see, there's a lot here. If I get the top, since I didn't fill it up all the way, right? Okay, the top of the cup is going to burn away, but Okay, it's only going to burn a little bit down, a little far down the cup because... It's stopping right where the water is sitting. Because of the water. So that water is absorbing that heat energy, okay, and protecting our paper cup. So you can Out actually... Get... All the times I've played with fire, <laughs> <laughs> which hasn't been many, I had no idea. So it's amazing that uh, water has such a heat capacity That's like mm -hmm. that. And it actually affects a lot of things. Like you hear a lot about El Nino now. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, the heat of water can actually affect the weather. So we have like a microclimate here in the Midwest from the Great Lakes. So. Which again, we've been talking, like you said, a lot about this lately. Now, if I touch the cup, is it, it's, it's still cool? It's Well, not really, it's still cool right now, or at least on my side. All right. Still a little yeah. cool right there. Now, is this something that we can get hands on with there at Imagination Station? Well, we do, we talk about a lot of different combustion aspects at mm -hmm. Imagination Station. Um, and the weather is one of our big topics that we always talk about, so. And before we go, I know we're running out of time this half hour, but we have some little scientists, I'm sure, out there watching. There's a special class they can start taking part in come yep. March. Our little scientist workshops, we're gearing up for those. So you can go out to our website, website imaginationstationtoledo.org, mm -hmm. and sign up for those. They're coming up in March, so we're very excited about that as well. Kids, I may join you while you're there. <laughs> Thanks, Dan, for that. We'll see you back during our 6.30 half hour. What will we be doing the, during the 6.30? We are going to play with some magnetic fluid. Magnetic pretty cool. fluid. Pretty cool. Sterile fluid. All yep. right, so stick with us for that. And, you know, if you're already thinking about lunch today, if your mind can get past what we just did, well, why not try some tempura? At least she and Gary, she is spending the morning letting us know why today is the day to get out and enjoy this great delicacy right there. She's joining us next on NBC24 Today.